Okay, I just put that update up literally minutes ago. And now look, we have Christmas snow. This is our first real snow here this year. Man, I wonder what's coming next. Okay, it's uh, December 23rd, right at noon, and all of the all of the cuts, the creeks, they're not really creeks, but they're all still running with water. So it stopped raining several hours ago, but there's still water coming from every direction from all of the ditches going into the two ponds. So it is probably still filling up even though we haven't had rain now for hours. All right, here we are on December 23rd, about 12.05 in the afternoon. And I just showed you that clip of the, uh, all the ditches are still running, even though it's quit raining a while ago. And just since this morning, I had to run for a couple hours. We've put on another couple of inches. Look at that fish house is, uh, darn near gone but this is how I know exactly how much we put on we are in now into the third six inch section so right now there's 18 to 17 inches give or take less than there was just a few hours ago this morning so we've put on another couple of inches and I suspect with the ditches all still running that by the end of the day we may put some more on yet and it looks like yep it looks like the, uh, the other lake is running over you see that disturbance back there that is probably the other pond running over through the boat channel so it will continue filling here throughout the day we'll keep you posted Right, it's two in the afternoon on the 23rd. Got my big rubber boots on. Let's go take a look at the ponds and see how they look. Okay, that new pipe I put in is not quite low enough. The old pond's gotta come up probably uh, six, eight more inches before it hits that pipe. Um, but the old pond has definitely come up quite a bit. Let's go check out the boat channel um, that's running on its own for the first time ever. I'm not sure people fully realize how big this left side's going to be. But if you look right here at that blue flag, okay, the base of that blue flag will be the full height of the new pond. So that, that cut is uh, probably a good two foot down below that low flag. So all of this brush this will all be underwater here which I meant to get in here and weed whack all this and I haven't done that either but uh, all of these trees here will be underwater at least when it's maxed out you know it may not hold that all the time but that's how much water this thing still has to come up I mean it's gonna come you know darn near to the top of this dam here. Oh, I could hear a waterfall going here. Whoo, wow! Oh, no wonder she's filling by the hour. Look at the flow we've got here. Oh, schmackerels, look at down there. Look at how close that thing is to the cut. Wow. Well, it won't be long now. It won't be long now. And then this, this bottom half is going to start just standing water first. And it's going to work its way back this way. Oh, man. So this, uh, this old pond must have come up. I mean, I'm going to guess at least a foot from all that rain. 
now it's you know the way it's running here it's got at least three four more inches to let off because normally when I cut it it's barely a trickle and I let off you know three inches so that's running solid so this thing is gonna continue to build here tonight tomorrow until this stops running so here's the main feeder going into the old pond still running wow this is the original the main feed that fills up the old pond just a nice gentle nice gentle flow let's go see what my farm field cut did here that's pretty Well, I might be doing another update tomorrow yet. Let's see if I did this cut correctly or not. Okay, here we have to use our detective skills since I did not come out while it was running. Your first glance, you don't see anything. You don't see a main cut coming through, nothing. But a second glance, we'll see, like down here, I could see a lot of this matting flatten this way which is consistent with with this whole edge down here because we just took a lot of rain last night i guess but i'm surprised we don't see one little cut through here very surprised so let's see if we could figure out if it uh went over the dam or if it went around it or if it did in fact continue down where i'm at and we just can't really see it I mean, right here, okay, here's the evidence we need. Yep, we got it. You see all this silt right here? So that cut worked. Perfect. And as I suggested, all this stubble would stop all the silt. So we had gushing water coming down here. It was kind of gushing here. And that silt stopped up here. This is about a 15-foot stretch. And then from here out, it was more of just filtered water. And it continued to filter and went down in the pond relatively clean. So that was a success. Nice capper. That one worked out pretty good. It would have been nice to see it running. But uh, this morning it was nasty. Look, it is running just a little tiny, tiny bit. The tiniest bit, it's still running. You could see it moving its way down. Right there, you could see it moving. So technically, it's still running. Um, but it worked fantastic. Now I'm up at the top of that cut. Yes, it worked well. But you could see right here, a lot of water went around it. You know, this hill here... Sorry, this hill here, what didn't run into that ditch came straight down here and went around it. But that's all right. Uh, the rate it's filling right now, we will have no problem being very full here in just a few more normal rains. Very good. Very nice. All right, and here I'm on the big concrete pier that I made. And if you remember, I made a, a nice hole right here. Piled it up over here. But if I remember right, when I was digging this, it was just about bare dirt there. All right, I'm just kind of testing out the shoreline and I'm sinking pretty good and I'm barely in here, so. I'm just going to dig a quick little hole here, right here by the uh, concrete pier. So I really don't want to get stuck in here. Very little water on it, and I don't even know if you could see. I could see from here the, the outline right there. 
of the hole under there, but that outline is underwater substantially from here. So, uh, and then of course it's running now into the new side, so it's going to get lower and lower, but very good progress here. So stay tuned. Uh, it may not be till tomorrow till I put the drone up. It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. And of course we'll have a little more height on the new pond by tomorrow. So uh, this will be the update for the end of the 23rd. Stay tuned.